Welcome to some late night Elden Ring, everyone. We are back uh, in the round table hold where we left off in the last episode. I think what I'm gonna do first is we might as well clear this place out. I didn't show this, I think, on my first playthrough, but there's a little sort of segment here where you get invaded and I think well, it doesn't lead to any sorcery spells, but it's like a proper duel, which I would do if I had, as in I had the gesture, but, you know, can't do that. Anyways, this guy has some, like, fucking doink frostbite spells, which I have thought of getting. Is that, I think it's that's frozen glint stone or something. Uh, I think we're gonna be getting those spells. This is you know we're clearly demonstrating ourselves to be the the ultimate Chad mage in the round table hold. Outside of what's his name. I almost said Gilbert the all-knowing, but that's not correct. He ain't Gilbert. Anyways. This guy is cheap. A little bit. With his frostbite. And he does bleed as well. Don't worry about it though. Idiot! You got hit by carrion greatsword? Oh well. So yeah, that's a... Uh, Fun little fight. Is that a shield? What the fuck was that? I don't think I got this the last time around. Was it a talisman? It's not. Oh yeah, I need to look at my talismans, by the way. Oh, there it is. Lures in invaders. Oh, okay. Cool. That's cool. It's like the... Not the red soapstone. What is that called? Whatever. You know, it's it's been in every single game. And this is a pretty cool weapon, the Cypher Pata, but it's a faith weapon. So, not much regarding that. Uh, let's set up the scene for this episode, though. What I'm going to be doing today is basically cleaning up some things that we need to take care of. I think now with Rhea Lucaria done, Sorceress Selen's questline should progress. If I remember correctly, this is how you get her to to progress. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Hmm. It's not. Okay. I really thought this was it. I really did. Uh, a bit strange. Anyways then, well, that takes a lot less time then. Let's go to the Revengers Shack and we might as well do like the Albaneric Village and, and all this uh, that we can do here in Lyernia. This is pretty key stuff and we might as well get the Earth Tree Avatar while we're at it. Uh, I'm saying that as if it's very easy to kill an Earth Tree Avatar. I think at this point it should be. But just, you know, let's be prepared. I don't think that's one of those towers that drops a memory stone. Not that we need one. But yeah. Um, other than that, the next thing to do is, of course, Kaelid. Kaelid is unavoidable. That is so cool. Eat shit, bitch. Loretta's great bow is awesome. <laughs> is it the best spell in the game? Hell no. It's very slow. But... Man, is it satisfying to cast. God, sometimes I'm reminded of why I hate these enemies. I 
I mean, that's, you know, maybe I'm putting that too harshly. Earth tree avatars would be fine if there weren't like 20 of them throughout this entire game. They showed up in like a couple of places. Make it into a nice little special fight. Bit of a callback to the asylum demon. I'd be like, hey, that's pretty cool. But it's sort of overdo it with this guy. Um, and some of the variants later on in the game get very, very annoying. I will say though, and the fucking stun locks are incredible. What was I saying? I, I completely lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. I have to say that I do feel cool with all these spells at my disposal now. Things are so much more interesting like this. I think this game is probably the closest uh, we have ever come to having like a good variety of usable spells. Because the issue is always... Uh, with Souls games that I think I mentioned this before it's like the you know sure you have all this cool shit like weapon magic weapons and all this but at the end of the day your soul spears and crystal soul spears and soul arrows are so good that why would you wanna go for anything else what I wanna go for now is uh, side of grace. If I'm not stoned, I think there should be one right here. Exactly. Cool. For the first time in a long while, we're gonna check out our physics. So we have restores half of total FP. We kind of want that. And this one causes concoction to explode. What? Did I have this one? What the hell does that do? <laughs> nice. I like it. I like it. GG's. What? Do you use this shit to get to red tear stone? Probably not. That is awesome. Cool. Well, the FP restoration is going to be good, if nothing else. Erudition Guide D. Oh yeah, I remember this place, but I don't remember what you do here. I don't think I've ever figured it out. Oh well, before going into the Albanerix village, Let's go ahead and level up. We are going to go for, unsurprisingly, intelligence. Need to also pay attention to my mana as well and increase that too. Just slowly, just slowly. Anyways, this place should be nice and quick. We'll get to advance. Nefeli's quest line. Plus, this is important because of uh, Mikola and all that shit. Cat, I don't know. Am I gonna fight Melania in this playthrough? I should. But I've heard so many. Oh, these are good. Sleep, sleep stuff. I've so heard so many mixed sort of reactions to her. I know. I mean, I obviously I've seen the fight, and. To me, it looks like exactly the type of fight I would not enjoy. But I feel like I would be doing a disservice if I didn't go to that place. In two playthroughs especially. Yeah, that would be a real dick thing. Honestly. So, you know. I'll decide on that. She has an interesting quest line too, but I don't know. She's nice, like 
She's one of the nicer NPCs in the entire game. And is she confirmed to be like the daughter of Horalu? Um, I guess so. I mean, just the naming, right? That's how it has to be. Anyways, um, are these things ho yeah, these things are hostile. Because these are the Albanurics, and it's a bit weird that she's talking about how they were slaughtered and. Here I come, doing the exact same thing. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm not Vati. One of the things I gotta remember is to... I'll try advancing her questline and that potion shit we gotta take care of in the round table. I should've remembered that too. I'm an idiot. I should've remembered that we need to do that. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. Oh, it's these assholes. How they're resistant to spells. Are you resistant to this though? <laughs> that spell. What? They have Estus? Are you actually fucking kidding me? And they have multiple uses? Okay. Okay. I did not know that. That completely took me by surprise. They have healing and they can use... Jesus, not even the NPCs have that shit. Unbelievable. Again, only thing I can say to that is you learn something new every playthrough. For example, that rock sling is the way to go against this guy. God, this fucking cheating bitch with his. I really should just rock sling him. Yeah, fuck off. Rock Sling always comes through to save the day. I mean, it is actually like legit the best spell I have. Don't worry. So I think if the if I'm right on the lore here, what like legit happens here is that um, what's his name? I f I f I'm forgetting his name. Super magic, super magician guy. Uh, they come to this village in search of the medallion. And that's why when you do that thing, like when, when I have this medallion and I go back, I'll be attacked by Ensha. Okay, I'm feeling very confident now. Oh, fucking. I totally forgot about the dogs, I'm not gonna lie. And I totally didn't think he would be so good at dodging spells. Fucking Capra Demon knockoff. Cheap as hell too. Oh, come on. Man, he's so fast. That does like... 
what a scream a lot of things are happening that was quite a scream um that like magic glint blade or whatever did like surprisingly a lot of damage to him like more than some of my other spells I don't mind that's what the game wants me to use I'll use it just get rid of as many of the dogs oh oh you're so fucked pew that did do a lot of damage you're not so good at dodging those are you Yeah, this thing, this spell really, it messes up the AI. Uh, there's no other way to put it. They like don't know what to do. Eat shit. Capra Demon knockoff. That went a thousand times better. It's how I handle real Capra Demon too. And I don't remember what the f <laughs> Alright, physics. I think physics skipped leg day for that section. Uh, that was really strange. Is that it? Just a shitty rune arc? Alright, whatever. We're going back. We're facing our demons. Yeah, this is pretty cool. And I'm guessing sort of the the prevailing theory here is that this is this is the real version of the round table hold she's so weak uh in the capital right that's where we get teleported to I think that's the idea weak ass I get his stuff too. That helmet is a bit edgy, but you know. We know, we know. Gideon, that's his name. Gideon, Gideon, Gideon. I got it now. Don't worry. I'm only gonna forget, like tomorrow. God, I know the secrets. And this is good as well. Because it should unlock Sluvis. And I like this guy more than Sluvius. <laughs> anything to fuck over um saluvius believe me but i do want to check out his spells by the way i need to check some of these out boost magical damage damage negation it's not bad guard counters final hit of chain attacks charge attacks enhances counter attacks unique thrusting weapons Roar and Breath, uh, reduces damage and impact of headshots. None of these are like particularly good for my build at least, I should say. Anyways, 
Nefeli should be here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, down there. Of course. And this is where I screwed up the quest line because I think you need to talk to her multiple times. Yeah, which I, I kind of failed to do. Anyways, let's visit back to Sluvis. This dude. But again, if I remember correctly, he does spell does sell spells. Sell spells. Try saying that a couple of times quick. Yeah, the dragon that dragon gets a pass for, for now, for now. These like magic resistant dragons are oh shit. Am I dead? Shouldn't have asked. I would have been dead anyways. And I just realized that with that my rune arc went too. Or like my Godric's rune. That's I actually haven't died since then. Told you. Preceptor. Alright. What do you got, bitch? Okay, carry and phalanx. This is cool. Carry and retaliation. Less cool. This is the one. Glintstone ice crag and freezing mist. This I definitely want. And this I want too, but it's expensive. Um, yeah, he. I remembered correctly that he has dope spells. You can actually give all the spell books to him as well if you want to, not just Turtle Pope. But I don't wanna. I don't wanna embolden him, you know. Cool then. Um, I think the next thing to do is Kaled, really. As much as it seems like I want to avoid Kaelid, and believe me, I do, I don't think we can anymore. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll unlock the other part of Kaelid as well, the really advanced part. But, um, yeah. Other than that, I'm not going to go there. I'm not suicidal. Still... This is the thing I use the least. Glintstone Ice Crag. This thing is OP, if I remember correctly. Main reason being, of course, is it does frost. And frost damage is, as you probably know, kind of bonkers. Anyways, I think I mean, there's a couple of dungeons I could do, but nah, this area I think is still too advanced for me. Oh shit, these, these things. I really, really dislike these enemies, these dogs, they're so annoying. So I'm doing my best to not have to fight them. Something died. The bird though. Now the bird is equally annoying and it's taking what the shit. It's taking no damage either. Okay, it's taking damage now. Does this thing have like shorter range, this spell? Oh. This is a pleasant enemy to fight. The camera is cooperating as well as you can see. Oh fuck me. <laughs> you have 
actually got to be shitting me. This is not happening. And the f that, that goddamn enemy, the death bird or whatever it's called, death right bird. That's like a boss version of this and it's absolutely god awful. I despise that enemy. But you know, we've discussed all of this before. I have my thoughts on some of the enemies in this game, believe me. Believe me, they are thoughts. That's all you can say. And I know Grey Roll is here, or Grey Roll, whatever her name is. Uh, and I could... Actually, how much FP does this? No, wrong thing. I wanted to see how much FP the Physic restores, but whatever. Cool. Oh, the thing is here, of course, I'm stupid. You can do Redon, but the Medallion is here, right? At the edge, edge of the map. Yeah, whatever. It's not, it's not gonna happen right now, believe me. Redon takes priority sort of so actually I was pretty successful against this guy I think with rock sling because you can stun him you see that come on there we go but it just has so much HP I mean three rock slings destroys him And one of those attacks destroys me. So this is technically possible. I don't think I currently have the FP. But as you see, this rock sling thing is just insane. Anyways, this has to be... Aside from the ice dragon on the mountaintop, this is probably the shittiest dragon fight in the game. Uh, Zeke's or Exekies, I think that's how you pronounce it. This thing is just god-awful. Um, so I prefer to skip it. Yeah, yeah, we can do Radon. Why not? I think Radon can be next. At least start a journey to Radon. As much as there is a journey here. Cause this is not like a proper dungeon or anything, it's just... Fight Radon. And believe me, I'm not that arrogant that I don't think Radon is going to be difficult. Hmm. So, it tracks less the ice version. But it has the benefit of dealing frostbite. The thing is though, nothing can beat fucking, what you call it, rock sling. That spell is so good. Do I have all the doggos coming after me? Yeah, I do. Oh, they deal damage to each other. I always forget this. Very convenient. Very, very convenient because these things are mad annoying. Told you. I said it, didn't I? I said it. Oh man, some of these enemies just makes me want to skip. This shit. I'm probably very weak. I mean, I have like 23 vitality. Oh, don't even think about killing me before. <sighs> Itchy nose. Mm. 
why why did they choose this enemy out of all the enemies they could have chosen oh and it's super late this is gonna be a weird episode because i'm probably not gonna do much editing uh yeah i think that's gonna be it these dogs uh, that's all i can say is uh there's still a lot we can do here though and I recognize I need to get more powerful, probably more powerful for Radon. Just the HP, the HP is where I'm really lacking. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'll wrap it up here. And I'm off on vacation tomorrow. I'll be back on Thursday. So these videos will be out during that time. But normal uploading and streaming will resume from Thursday. Anyways, which should only be like two days for you guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of... The Sorcerer Run for Elden Ring, and yeah, I'll catch all of you next time. Peace out.